Stephen Mead again, back with another Bullseye podcast, shortcast. I don't know what to call these things. They're just sort of quick little tidbits on what I think is going on in the industry. And particularly right now, I'm going to talk about what's in a name, the ABCs of blockchain. And what I mean by that is years ago, not even years ago, a year and a half ago, there was this thing called an ICO. And I've talked about it before. It stood for an initial coin offering, much like an IPO, which was an initial public offering. But for private companies to do an IPO, it was usually 10 years and hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue. Again, look at a Slack or an Uber. These companies eventually went public, but it was millions and hundreds of millions of dollars in a long period of time. Then you had this thing come out, which Google and Face, some of these guys tried to do something called a direct public offering. Again, in the stock world, a DPO, direct public offering, is when you said, I'm going to skip all of the investment bankers and all of the people, and I, the company, am going to sell directly to my customers. If you had a big database, a list, if you had a lot of customers and you could communicate with them, you could offer your stock directly to that customer. Now, these are usually on the smaller exchanges, right? If you understand, there's an OTC, over-the-counter technically called a bulletin board. And even on the bulletin board, there's two basic levels of stock. There's what's called a pink sheet, very low um, volume, very risky. These are startups. Um, a lot of times they're, they're generated off of press releases. They may not be audited. They're risky, but the ability for a pink sheet penny stock to go from five cents to 10 cents or 10 cents to 30 or 30 to a dollar is much greater than it is for an Amazon, which is further upstream, to go from $1,500 to $3,000. Again, Amazon's less risky, but your returns are lower. So pink sheet OTC, bulletin boards, over-the-counter, regular over-the-counter. Then you get the Amex, which we're not going to talk about, but I mean, it's another one. But your next leap up from there is the NASDAQ, which has a higher threshold of volume and revenue. And then you've got your New York Stock Exchange. So this is sort of it. The ICOs came out. What's in a name? An acronym. Initial coin offering. Then they changed to STO, security token offerings. And nobody really knew what that was. And now it's moved to what's called an IEO, which is basically an initial exchange offering. What does an exchange offering mean? Well, unlike a direct public offering where I, the company, have customers I want to market to, the exchanges that exist in the world of blockchain, Bittrex, Binance, OKX, some of these big ones, these exchanges have an existing base of account holders. These are people who have been qualified. Again, an acronym of what's called KYC, Know Your Customer. Some ALM, Anti-Laundering Money, or AML, Anti-Money Laundering. These are all the acronyms and the ABCs you'll hear, but an exchange has people on there who've been qualified. And an exchange makes money off of volume. They want you buying and selling and trading the tokens just like you might buy and sell and trade a stock on the bulletin boards. So what did the IEOs do? The IEO says, hey, the exchange is going to take your token, which is basically your type of stock, offer it out through the exchange. That's the new acronym that's starting to come out, the IEOs. I still believe It'll be a combination between an IEO, an exchange offering, and a DPO, a direct public offering, where you want to get listed on an exchange, you want to get qualified, and then you want to market and promote that, not in a press release promotion way, but in a positive way, saying, we're a company, we have customers, we have revenue. Again, moving back to the United States, the pink sheets are a lot of press releases. They're actually called pump and dump, where... Somebody will put a press release out and try and double the stock from three cents to six cents. You want to be careful. You want to look at companies who have a product or a revenue and are actually trying to produce something. But I think the benefit of the internet exchange offerings, not the internet, I'm still stuck in the internet, the IEOs, the initial exchange offerings, you're going to get a cool company out on a qualified exchange marketed to a qualified base of potential investors. So as you hear these terms floating around, IEO is sort of the new one. That's really what it means. Think of it almost like a direct public offering, but the exchange is promoting it for you to their customer base. Hope that helps. 
Again, Stephen Mead, the Bullseye Guy, always appreciate you checking out the videos.